Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this broadcast here on WHOU. As we are coming to you live from the WHOU studios in Holton, getting ready to bring you the Central Aroostook Panthers playing host to the Presque Isle Wildcats. Nicholas started to drive, instead kicks it out. Crum uses up his dribble, decides he's going to take it and make it. So there's going to be a lot of threes today, Rob. There's the first one. So make a it. couple layups and your confidence goes up too. And this pair by McAtee there. By McAtee. There's the first field goal of the game for the Wildcats. And that's what he does. He is a bull on the offensive class. Does a great job. <laughs> You're acting like, like you were a choir boy on the sideline. and <laughs> We all know that wasn't the case. There's no video evidence. Oh, there's a lot of evidence. Nice inside out, little high low action. Xavier McAtee. To continuing to be patient on the offensive end. This time, a shot's going to be put up. Nicholas buries a three. Looked like he might have come down on an ankle. I, mean, I don't think he was meaning to bank that in, but they'll take it. They needed that. Prescott was on a run. 12 9 is the score. Panthers on top. Inside they go. Cummings going to try his hand in the post. Here's his first two points of the game. Yep, I like that. Put him down on the block. He's got a big size advantage. And... Oh, Cummings. Nowhere to go. It's going to be put up. That's off the glass. Sergeant couldn't get it to fall, but put back up and in. Jack Buck on the offensive glass. That's their third bucket. Panthers back within one. Pretty tight throughout here. The ball moved in. Pretty good high low there. That's the old high low offense. Short corner. You saw Jack Buck crash to the hoop. Come out with a little half court trap here. Some of the is. Things up defensively. Vine's going to have his hand at a three, and he's going to bury it. Nice skip pass there by Malachi Cummings. Levine buried it. McAtee with it for the Wildcats. They find Buck in the corner. Sergeant, a three, launched up and in. A lot of time. He said, OK, you're not going to guard me. I'm going to bury it. Prescott and Caribou, obviously, in Holton, bigger schools in the county, but they tried to play You know, the, the better, smaller schools. There's a nice three for Malachi Cummings. 15. Yeah, pretty good D there. Central ended up getting a good look, but it took him a while to get a good look. Three, three no good. McAtee right there. A nice job keeping the ball high. Didn't bring it down for a big dribble. Back in back in the 80s, Richard Drummond and, and Tom Rice and some of those guys I remember. Chris Cassidy, great player. There's a steal. It's gonna be a layup here. Lay it up and in. For the most part, I think pretty. There's a nice take. Took the hit. For the most part, I think that since the Wildcats are going to turn right around and play again on Monday, Cummings in the post gets it up and in. He's having a nice quarter, Rob. I've got him down for 26. His ball's inbounded to Urima. Noah pulls up. Yeah, and that's his first field goal of the game. Good looking stroke there. Yeah, nice little right to left crossover dribble with a pull up jumper. Devine uses up his dribble. Leads it to Langley, who knows what to do with it. Puts it up and in. Strong take to the basket there by Michael Langley. Nicholas. Needs a screen, puts up a bomb. That three, no good. The rebound cleared by Urima. And Coach Cummings tells his team just to hold on to it and let the horn sound. The final score from the Panther Palace, 64 for Presque Isle, 37 for Central Roostic. Presque Isle comes in and picks up the victory, Rob.